Hello YouTubers, this is the Don coming to you with another how-to video. So today, I'm going to be talking about how to do upgrade, get, and uh, basically everything about the godly weapon. So I'm doing this for uh, one of my commenters for my YouTube channel. Kind of wanted to know a little bit about the godly weapon and how to upgrade it and how to do everything for it and maybe uh, what these little awakened skills are. So, <clears throat> we're going to take a look at it real quick. So, if you look at your godly weapon, if you have it, if you don't, uh, the way that you can get it is uh, they actually have an, uh, an event for the godly weapon. And uh, we actually have that event going on right now. So, I figure this is a perfect time to do this video. Now, what this is, is you get... Buy one elemental stone and get 40% off for the second one. So, for your actual one though, where is it? Recharge for godly weapon. Okay, so you need 100 pieces of the godly weapon in order to, or 100 fragments in order to make a godly weapon. So, in order to get a godly weapon from this event, you need to spend... 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. So 7,200 magic gems, and that gives you everything else that's included, which is, you know, 150, 300, 550, 1,000, uh, you know, 500, or 1,000 some change coins, and then it also gives you 20 of these little elemental stone packs. <clears throat> Plus the 100 fragment pieces that you need. So 7,200 uh, magic gems is roughly $120. So if I were you, um, once you hit level 100, uh, if you're just starting out or whatnot, once you hit level 100, you'll actually get a little special icon right up here underneath your egg smash. And it will be to buy a, uh, a godly weapon for $100. And so you'll be saving $20 doing that, but if you didn't buy it at that time, or if you're not at level 100 and you just want to get it early, uh, doing this event will allow you to do that. Um, <clears throat> and even if you already have your godly weapon, um, so like, we'll say for me, for example, I have a godly weapon. I think I have two of them, actually. Um, if you go to your godly weapon itself, click on it, you can hit train or awaken. If you hit train, it brings to the screen that looks like this, and instead of going back and changing it, you can actually just hit the next one down, and it'll go to your awaken. So once you get your godly weapon, <coughs> you'll notice that each of these little uh, things have, they cost stones, basically, right? And every time you upgrade it to the next level, they require more stones. So for, let's say, example, this one right here, since I have a level 2 and I'm going to a level 3, um, it costs 1,100 of these little token elemental stones. Each stone gives 100, so I would need um, 11 of these stones just to upgrade this one uh, just up to level 1 out of 10. Now, each time you upgrade it from then, uh, the stone amount increases. So, it's a hundred or it's a one thousand one hundred uh, those stone things or whatever uh, to go to level one. It's one thousand two hundred at level two, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, I have this one at level seven, and it requires eighteen hundred. So basically, each level it'll go up a hundred more to get it up. Now, I mean, my math may be wrong, but if it requires 10 of them, and each one is 100, so just to upgrade this one part of this weapon to number 10, um, it, would it would take so many of these stones. You know, just level 1 takes 11, level 2 takes another 12, 3, 13, 4, 14, or 15, 5, 16, uh, and etc, etc. So you actually end up spending, or you end up using about a hundred, a little bit over a hundred, I believe. I don't have a, a, 
No, I'll find a pen. Let's find a pen. Let's do this math real quick. Um, give me one second. I'll do this. And this. So, for your... Let's just go with... You have a, a level one godly weapon, right? You have the first one. Level one will take ten stones. Level two takes eleven. <clears throat> Three... 12, 4, 13, 5, 14, 6, 15, 7, 16, 8, 17, 9, 18, and 10, <coughs> 19. So if we add all that up, right, so we got uh, 10, 17, 23, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 35, 37, 38, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13. So just to evolve one of these categories all the way to 10, it takes 138 stones. Now, you can use gems in order to complete this. So if you hit inject right here, right? And if I don't have any, which I don't, it, they cost 100 magic gems each. So <clears throat> if you were to gem one entire area, one, you know, all the way up, we're just going to do the simple math. So 138 times 100. So we'll just add two zeros at the end of that. It would actually cost you 13,800 gems just to increase this one side and you have to do that three times so we're looking at 13,800 times two right so we're actually ended up having to spend six seven or three my bad so we got one thousand thirteen thousand eight hundred times Three. Three times zero is zero. Zero. Twenty-four. Nine, ten, eleven. Three, four. So you end up spending forty-one thousand four hundred gems. Just and those are recharged gems. If you have the other gems, you could use those also, but you need a lot of them to do so, so I don't think anybody has forty-one thousand uh, magic gems just sitting around and if you do uh, good on you you save them up but man you could have used those on stages or anything else but it will cost you four thousand or forty one thousand four hundred dollar or four hundred gems to do this <clears throat> now just doing this by math uh, each gem pack right the most expensive one that they have is a hundred dollars and different countries it may be different things but hundred dollars uh, um, U.S. dollars or whatever, it gets you thick 6,000 gems, right? So if you take 41 and divide it by 6, so how many times can 6 go to 41? I don't know, let's count it out. 6, 12, 18, 24, 32, or 30, 36. So just under $700 in order to upgrade this one just to the next level so that's 700 american dollars in order to upgrade that weapon to the second evolved stage uh it's ridiculous so in my opinion uh everybody should at least have the first stage of the godly weapon that's kind of a you know a good one to have the reason being is uh the awakening skill so, or actually, you know what, let's go over increasing this one first, and then we'll talk about the awakening skill. So once you have all three of these little categories filled up to 10, what you do is you click on the actual, I, or the, the actual godly weapon in the center. And what this does is it zooms it in, and then you can see onto the right side um, <clears throat> the power level increase, or the HP attack, PDEF, and MDEF increase from a level 2 to a level 3 godly weapon um right now i own two other two more godly weapons is what i own 
um, but I'm not going to upgrade it because I don't have all the stones and I'm not about to spend uh, $700 uh, or, you know, just under $700 just to upgrade this thing one more time and unlock one more attribute. But, so that's how you would actually upgrade that one right there. You click it, hit upgrade. It's going to tell me that I need all my elemental powers to be upgraded to 10 stars. I'm not going to do that. You guys can do that and tell me how you how you feel about spending $700 uh, each time. <clears throat> and each time it goes up too, so remember that. So uh, the level 1 will cost you $700. A level 2 will probably cost you 8 3 you know, 9 4 10 So you'll be spending $1,000 just to get a level 3 or a level 4, uh, you know, godly weapon. So if you have the money and it's burning a hole in your pocket, um, you know, this would be one of the better things to spend it on uh, than most things in the games. But um, but still, you know, the power increase and the attack boost and everything like that isn't huge, uh, except for the very first level. This, now, this is what I was talking about, about... Um, Everybody should at least have one godly weapon or the first tier of a godly weapon. And the reason behind that is uh, they uh, they updated this awakening skill. And what this awakening skill does is see how mine says godly weapon skill level plus 8. Now what that means is for my actual godly weapon itself, his awakening or awakening godly weapon skill plus 8. And if you read the little description, which is cut off and kind of bullshit that you can't read the whole thing, but Blood Oath, uh, Red Thief, level 9 combo hit increases immunity 64%, and each hit, crit hit to opponent removes an extra 8% of max HP, uh, total of 3 critical hits. Critical also has, um, I think it's like a 10% chance or a 20% chance of inter interrupting the boss's skill. So when the boss does his AoE, um, obviously not in the boss layer, but in any stages or anything like that, when they go to do their uh, area of effect attack, which is that little red ring that shows up around them and they're about to attack you with something, if you use your godly weapon or you know uh, one of your skills, it'll actually prevent them, or your ultimate skill, right? It'll prevent them from using that attack on you. Um, and then you can put runes on them. Uh, so they just got this update also where they, they increase the amount of stuff that you can put runes in. Currently I'm kind of switching my runes around. Uh, but for right now I basically still have the same setup. Um, I have five, um, you know, toughness gems at the front. Another five that are the plus damage. But if you also go to, so for my mount... Um, Basically kind of the same setup except deadly. Uh, I need more deadly runes to replace these other two damage ones. And then on my other, so my wings, godly weapon, magic ring, partner, and outfit can also hold gems now. So it's a little harder to upgrade all of them, uh, especially if you're already at 7 on most of your you know actual stats one. And you're working on your level 8. So I have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Six level eight gems, and I was trying to get them all to level eight, but then they came out with this update, and so I lost it. But anyway, so so back on track. Uh, godly weapon, right? So if you go to your godly weapon, look at it. <clears throat> the higher your godly weapon skill level is, the better their the skill becomes. So having a level one godly weapon is important because you can use that one awakening. Every time you get a new godly weapon skill, uh, it opens up another category. So for mine, I got it to level 2 because I found out that you can get uh, your XP or Exo Hero HP plus 16%. So I thought that was kind of important. So I did end up spending a little bit of money, put it into my godly weapon to get it to level 2 in order to do that. So that's what I think is important about that one. If you actually go to, if you go to your uh, ranking boards anywhere on your guys' little thing, uh, you can actually look up anybody else you want to. So this guy's kind of the, the badass of everything on this game right now, or at least on my server. 
So he basically owns the title for everything, right? His PvP power is almost a thousand. is ridiculous. But if you look at him, we'll go to his godly weapon. So his godly weapon, he only has to the third top, right? And, uh... So, Godly Weapon, skill level plus 10. So, let's read what it does for a summoner. Summoner's damage increases by 50%, causes extra 50% damage to high-speed targets, and 20% silence to opponents that last 3 seconds. So, at a 20% rate, he is going to silence your character. And I don't know if you guys have ran into this or they've added this update into your guys' servers yet, but... Silence is a is a SOB man. You go up to somebody and you go to Ultim and all of a sudden all of your skills are on cooldown and you end up just hitting him with your basic attack a few times before you end up dying. It's a it's a POS. Anyways, so that one is for the summoner. Let's look at the next we'll look at Nightmare. So his godly weapon is at uh, level 3 also. <clears throat> Most people usually are in my server or whatever, have a level 1 or level 2 to level 3. Uh, anything past 3 is kind of overkill at this point just because the awakened skill isn't the greatest. Um, but, you know, if that's what you're into, go right ahead. Uh, the skill for uh, Warrior says Sky Oath, Holy Trinity, level 10, immunity plus 9%. After parrying, you have a 27% of being immune this time. So basically, uh, if you attack somebody, or somebody attacks you, and they parry off of you, or you attack somebody else, and you parry that hit, um, you have a 27% chance that the next time that they attack you, they'll won't do any damage at all you basically you're immune to it or it decreases the damage that they do to you by immunity and uh you know so that the higher your awakened skill level is for your very first one uh the better off you are do this to my wings real quick and um so basically usually everybody has the first two and so that's why you know, the top one I have is only a plus eight. I haven't really rolled it a few times or in a while. Um, but basically what you would do is you would go to your awakening, click on the one that you want to change around. You would hit awaken, right? So I don't have enough awakening stones, so I can spend 50 recharge magic gems to awaken. <coughs> and this is... It's like a gamble. You're basically rolling the dice to see new stats in this little bloody splendor uh, area right here. And it's going to uh, affect that one right here. So if you click any... I'm not going to do it because it's going to mess up my my build. And I don't want to lose that AXO uh, Exo Hero HP plus 16%. But if you click the little button that has the little transfer sign... It'll actually swap out that one for one of these ones, and you'll end up losing, uh, or I would end up losing my Exo Hero Plus HP. So I'm not going to do that. I'm actually, let's roll on this one real quick. So, nothing great. Uh, Godly Weapon Skill Level 3. If I didn't have mine up to the 8, I would definitely put it on that one. All the rest of them are kind of just garbage. Um... We'll do one on this one just to see. So yeah, still green and blue stats. So it's just like everything else. You'll see green, then blue, then purple, and then gold. And then if you get past gold, uh, you'll see a red stat. And red stats are supposed to be the best. Um, but my best advice would be if you do have a level 1, I would just look for godly weapon skill. And if you have a level 2... Uh, I would go for EXO Hero HPs to make you a little bit more tanky and survivable. Everything else, negative damage, that's BS, or Deployed Hero negative damage. Complete garbage. Deployed Hero dodge. Anything with your Deployed Hero at this point, unless you're endgame, is complete garbage. Um, Endo Hero MDef 10%. Uh, 
you don't want your endo hero getting attacked anyways. You want your exo hero to basically be the stopping point in which somebody attacks you. So I'd say that one's kind of garbage. Endo hero toughness plus 400. This one could be good, especially if you hit like a gold stat and you're uh, you plus a thousand. Especially if you look at their actual stats and uh, and you only have a couple hundred and you just want them to crit or parry or dodge more often, you could do that one. Um, but just you know, you kind of feel it out for yourself and see which one you kind of like more. Uh, but that's basically all I have for this one. Also, with your so <clears throat> for your godly weapon you have to recharge in order to get these magic gems now if you're going to do it smart when you go to your 40 percent coupon right you can get 50 plus 50 is 100 130 150 170 180 90 95 so you get about 200 of these little 40% tokens if you spend 20,000 magic gems. So like I said earlier, right, I would have to spend 41,400 gems just to get uh, all of my thing up, right? But if you take 40% off of that because these ones take off, if you still buy 200 of them, yeah, 200 of them <clears throat> in order to buy it, um... 40% off 200 of them, so you would actually decrease the amount that you would need by, like, you'd be only be spending 60 gems uh, instead of 100 gems. So if you are going to buy the stones, uh, definitely wait for this event and buy them through this with this little 40% coupon in order to do so. Um, what they used to do is in your store, I think it was in your VIP, actually, that, well, they don't do it anymore, but they used to have stones available right here in this bottom little corner, but they're not there now, so I'm not sure if they just took it away and aren't giving them back, but, yeah, oh, by the way, so I just did a video for the dragons, right, <clears throat> and the one thing that I forgot to explain is if you own one of these cities, right, if you go to specialties, there's all these cities that you can't buy anything on because your your alliance actually has to own that city in order for you to buy that one. So right now my my uh, alliance owns the Forest Pack Seal, the Forest Capital City, right? And so I can buy one of these every day. <clears throat> so I got that and ten crystals. Woo! -hoo. But, you know, over time it'll be worth it, um, but for right now, uh, I'm still not going to put any money into this. So, anyways, there you go, character, godly weapon, um, the stat boost that it gives on it is, you know, kind of good, uh, the awakened skill is amazing, especially if you have, a, a warrior or, uh, a summoner character, they kind of boosted those ones powers are not boosted the power but they uh they buffed those ones so much that it's uh it's getting harder and harder to kill a summoner and it's almost high near impossible for me to kill most of the uh warriors that are higher power than i am so um i definitely think the the godly weapon at least at level one is worth getting anything past level one uh maybe level two if you really want to put money into it but anything past level 2 is kind of just meh. And I would only do it if you're trying to actually just upgrade the actual uh, look of the godly weapon that you have. The way you do that is go to your character, go to looks, go to godly weapon. And you can see what godly weapons they have. Um, if anybody has this karma god of destruction, I can only imagine they spent at least you know, $20,000 just you know easily in the game try and just get this one godly weapon i mean it looks cool i'm not gonna lie the thing looks uh beastly you know this one too you know they actually they all look kind of cool you know i think my favorite would have to be the og the very first one that you get that you see in that video when you first start the game and you 
get a godly weapon in order to kill that one uh, stage boss that's undefeatable. And you finally kill him. So my personal favorite is the soul hunting. Uh, I still have the bloody splendor on just because uh, I really don't care what my character looks like as far as the godly weapon goes. Uh, obviously I care about the outfit. But this one matches the outfit pretty good so I just leave it with that. So I think that's all we have for today. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit. Hopefully you guys have a um, have already bought the godly weapon. Or if you're less than level 100 or you are past level 100, uh, wait for this event. And then I would definitely get a godly weapon, you know, roughly $120. And then, you know, uh, like I said, you're going to spend just under $700 just to upgrade it to level 2. Um in my opinion, the $700 to go to level 2 isn't necessary. As long as you have the level 1 and you have a really good skill set or awakened skill for the 1, uh, that's what I would you know, more or less worry about. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Um, hit that like button. Hit that share button. Throw me a comment or two. Uh, let's see what we can make up for the next video. So until then, thanks guys. Thanks for watching.